everybody, MBG back again today with a look at the new Blood Angels Collector set. For this, of course, has the codex and lots of extra accoutrement up in here. Uh, so <laughs> let's dive right into it. Of course, this is the actual back cover to the codex, uh, the Collector's Edition codex. I put it on here because, well, it's very striking. Everybody loves Death Company, right? And you can kind of see the embossing here where it's got some of the battle uh, in the background here as well. But this, pretty much for the most part, is just a normal codex. Uh, with a little bit extras, and we'll show you that here in a second. So this is, of course, the uh, you know limited edition kind of uh, kit binding thing where you uh, basically put everything in here. I call it book cover, just uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, ninth chapter, of course, or ninth legion, and then we've got the limited edition here. When I like this because you know it's not like a little piece of paper inserted; it's actually on. You know, they printed it onto the the actual uh, you know kit. Uh, cover here as well. So, uh, oh yeah, and then uh, we've got the the fluff book here. Oh, this is actual codex, excuse me. And then we've got the the extras here. So, like I said, this is pretty much just uh, the normal book. It's got some gold foil, uh, you know, basically around the edges, and it's actually got a white border when you compare it to the the normal codex. It has a black border, so it appears to be a little bit brighter, but it actually isn't. <laughs> um, but when you look at it, uh, you know, you'll, you'll notice that as well. It, it just appears to be a little bit brighter uh, compared to the black border one around the normal codex, but it kind of isn't. I like this uh, because it kind of goes back to the limited edition Space Marine uh, versions that came out. There was like the four or five different ones depending on the chapter. So now the Blood Angels have theirs as well. And I think it's the same art from the rule book that comes in the... Um, the new Death Storm box as well. So these are the limited edition art prints, and it comes in this nice little fancy kind of binding uh, Citadel vault uh, dust jacket kind of thing here. And all the backs are the same. You know, they got the basically the no, the normal uh, back here, and then on the front it's got like just basically some pinup artwork here of the different, uh, I guess, uh, founding legions here. So you've got the normal Blood Angels. It looks like. Uh, and then you've got what looks like to be maybe a flesh terror here, perhaps. Hard to tell because you're not seeing the uh, the chapter symbols. Normal blood angel. Another normal blood angel. And uh, maybe another <laughs> normal blood angel, maybe. Another blood angel. So pretty cool stuff. This might be like an angel in Carmine. I think they have the, uh, the split. Uh, the split. Uh, paint scheme there as well, but it's hard to tell. Hard, hard to tell. I'm not up on the Blood Angels lore as much as I should be, unfortunately, but uh, they are pretty cool nonetheless. Now, this is the limited edition fluff book, which is, you know, uh, obviously only available in this version here. So you've got the uh, Adeptus Astartes Sons of Sanguinus because, uh, well, apparently, starting with this book, there's no more Space Marines. Sorry, sorry guys, uh, Space Marines are all dead. Um, we have the Adeptus Astartes now. And this is the table of contents. Now, there's some pretty cool stuff in here, actually. You've got an introduction and then a bunch of sections of fluff. The Archangels, which I believe is the first chapter of the Blood Angels. Uh, or the first, uh, not the first chapter, but basically the, uh, uh, the veterans. Uh, then you've got the Bloodied, the Lost Brethren, Strike Force, Razor Wind, which I think may have something to do with the actual Death Storm stuff. I'm not 100% sure. And then it gets into a painting guide, which is actually the majority of the, the, the rest of the book. And it's, it's a really good painting guide. I mean, very little of it was featured in the White Dwarf. And I think it may be the same painting guide that comes out uh, from, you know, uh, separately, which I think goes for like 50 bucks as well. But um, it's still cool to see in here. And we'll take a look at that in a second. So like I said, lots of fluff, lots of cool stuff here. Definitely gets into a lot of different things uh, for the chapter. Strike Force Razor went well. I want to show you, where is it? Uh, let's go right here. Oh, the Flesh Terrors, of course, are in here. That's what I wanted to show you. So we got the Flesh Terror section, Chapter Master Gabriel Seth. Uh, oh, and then this guy, too, which apparently the, um, you know, the Sanguinary Priest kit that came out, this is him. I mean, if you flip to... That's the, that's the model right there, and here he is, uh, <laughs> Brother uh, Lementarios. Uh, I'm, I'm a little uh, rusty on my Latin, but we'll go with that for now. Uh, it's not too bad of a pronunciation there, I hope. So pretty cool to see that he's actually somebody. Uh, doesn't necessarily have rules. Maybe we'll see a data sheet. Maybe we'll see an advent calendar or a release form, but hey, who knows. 
Um, so like I said, Gabriel Seth and all the flesh tears. And then it gets into the painting guide, which is actually really good, uh, like I said. So we've got all sorts of stuff in here. You've got special characters. Uh, then it gets into, you've got veteran squads, basing, company standards, terminators, all sorts of parchments, symbols, um, librarians. It, it gets into vehicles, hair, lenses. I mean, this thing is pretty comprehensive. It gets into the actual painting of uh, the flesh tears themselves. Uh, then you've got all sorts of command squads like the helmets, the trims. I mean, the Tactical Marines one was featured in the White Dwarf already, which you've probably seen a lot of these pictures, uh, doing lenses, uh, the blood drops, uh, parchment purity seals. But, I mean, it's it's a fantastic painting guide. I mean, sold separately, you know, it, it, it's definitely a lot more. Uh, but part of the kit, it's, it's really cool to see too because, I mean, let's face it, if you're buying this, you're probably going to hobby on Blood Angels. So here they are. This is how to paint them. Death Company all sorts of stuff. And what I really liked about this is it's got this little section in the back here called the catalog. Now, a lot of you might remember the, the old second edition uh, 40K codexes, where in the very back of it, it showed all the models uh, that were available currently for that faction. Um, now, of course, they weren't you know all painted up like this because you know we had to actually... We didn't have computers back then. I'm just going to leave it at that. We didn't have all that technology. So it would be a picture of, you know, like the, the pewter uh, model and maybe on, you know, all the stuff attached to it or if it, we didn't really have plastic stuff either. So it would be all the components and the component codes. Uh, but the idea is the same. And it's really cool to see them getting back to that. Um, you know, maybe, maybe it was on accident. Maybe it was on purpose. But it's really neat to see because, hey, these are all the models that are available for Blood Angels exclusively. There they are. Now you know you know what you might want to pick up uh, once you get done painting whatever project it is you're on right now. So that being said, uh, that's pretty much the collector set. It fits you know right. I'm trying to gently not to, not destroy this collector set, but uh, you just slides right into the fantastic little slip cover here, and maybe. <laughs> uh, of course, this is hard to do and record at the same time. So, that being said, uh, it's a wonderful set. Definitely uh, for any fan of the Blood Angels, very worthwhile purchase. I think they're already sold out already. Uh, I think they go for about three times the normal price of the Codex. But like I said, if you're a big fan, this is for you. So, that's all I got for this one. I hope you enjoyed the uh, review of the limited edition set. Uh, make sure you stay in the trenches, subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out the blog, spikybitsblog.com, and listen to our podcast, forgenarrative.com.